As a business, if you have payroll running, then if not monthly, at least in a quarter, you have to do the remittance to CRA to be on the right side of the compliance. I'll show you how in few easy steps you will be able to do this. What are the options? How you can do the payment? There are various methods. All that in detail, I'll show you in today's video. And after watching this, you will see how simple this is. It does not take much effort. And you can directly do this once you have all the right information with you. So without wasting time, let me take you to the computer screen. I'm hoping you have a CRA account, which you should. If not, just go and register for a CRA account. And once you do that, you will be able to log in using your CRA user ID and password. So click here. Then you come to this page where you will enter your user ID, password, and then sign in, go through the credential. Basically, you'll have to go through the security options. And then once you click next, select your delivery method. And then once you choose that, enter the passcode and then click next. Now, both your personal and business detail, you will be able to see at one dashboard. You will go and select your business. You come to your business page, scroll down. As long as your outstanding return shows nothing and owing shows nil, you are good. And uh, progress tracker shows or record shows that you have no files being tracked at this time. That means you are good so far. Let's go back. This is the payroll tab. Come here, click and select this. Once you make a selection, you will come to this page, which is your payroll page. Here you see remittance. This is where we will click. Once we click, scroll down. Remittances are due on 15th of every month following the end of quarter. And the due dates are April 15th, July 15th, October 15th and January 15th. Make a payroll source deduction when you have employee and you have to do the remittance. You click here. On the source deduction remittance, you enter the period end date. So there is no date range you can see here. You entered whatever the period end date is. Here I am showing 30 May 2025. Based on what you have with you, you will enter the gross pay, number of employee and the amount to be paid to CRA. And then once that is done, click next here i forgot to check click next you are on payment option page and here you can see whatever the amount is that gets shown and then what are the available option you cannot use credit card for the service and uh, then once you come here you see here pay by visa debit or debit mastercard you can also pay through your checking account and you can also pay in person at canada post so with canada post once you start and complete everything once you don't choose any of these two medium, you will get a printout which will have a QR code. Carry that QR code to Canada Post, pay the amount and immediately that transaction will reflect in CRA. So that's an easy process just in case you have no option with this debit card or the checking account. The easiest one would be if you can do any one of these. If not, you have to go to Canada Post to get this done. Click start. You see here, interact debit card are no longer payment option in my payment service after September 10, 2024. So you'll have to check with your bank or credit union on that. So you will choose your payment method if you choose debit card. Once you select this and click next, you have to enter your card detail and then you have 18 minutes to complete this payment. You go and do the payment and once the payment is done, you will get an acknowledgement. If it is from a checking account, once you make a selection, you will have to create a pre-authorized debit agreement. So once you click here, here you will get to see this detail, how often you can select the payment. If you are doing this regularly, you can set it up. If uh, the amount is consistent, if not, you can set up at one time and then enter the branch detail institution and account number once that is done click next review and submit if you're choosing canada post as the payment option in that case you review everything submit you will get a qr code carry that qr code to the canada post and then you can do the payment either through cash or you can use your debit card by just tapping at Canada Post location so that will get the job done and almost instantly this uh, information will be related to CRA. So you are compliant with whatever the payment has to be.